Hey, it's Rob from Skiss Your Genius, and I'm here to show you the 4000 controller. This is one of the original controllers that we developed. And the idea of this controller was to give you four outputs that you could actually put inside your attachment to drive up to four solenoids. So it's ideal for snow blowers, that type of thing. But something that's really unique about this controller is that we put software in this and we put dual drivers in this in such a way that you can reprogram this unit and you can run motors. So if you've got an older snow blower, or especially a buffalo turbine uh, fan, like it's a blower that they have, they use an electric motor. And the only way you can control that is you wanna go plus 12 in one direction, negative 12 in the other direction. And the only way you can do that is we, we've done this software in such a way that you can reprogram this box so it'll go from four positive 12 outputs to two plus negative 12 volt outputs. And I'm just gonna show you exactly how to do that. So when we ship this to you, it comes already set up with plus 12, plus 12, plus 12, plus 12. So you're gonna use the, the what we call B1, B2, C1, C2, which are the, the toggles that go up and down on your left and right handle. And they've got a picture of, a, of two opposing cylinders. Those are the buttons you're gonna use. And so my B1 gives me uh, A channel, my B2 gives me B channel, my C1 gives me uh, the C channel and C2 gives me the D channel. And that's how it comes to you stock. You don't have to change anything. But however, if you wanna change this and you wanna run motors, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do now just to change the programming. So here's my box. And if I turn my key on and I push B1, B2, C1, C2. Okay, that's my controls as it comes stock. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it. So I'm gonna turn the power off on my machine and I'm gonna turn it back on again. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this button down at the same time as I turn the key on. And I'm gonna hold it for about five seconds and that'll reprogram the box. Now, if I decide that I wanna run the box on something else where I'm going to go back to positive 12, four outputs, all I'm gonna do is turn the key on again and hold this button down while I'm turning the key on. So it'll be in the off position. I'll push this button down, turn the key on, and I'll reprogram it right back to stock the way we shipped it to you. Okay, so here goes. I just hold the button down here. You'll see it flicker and then it turns green. Now I'm ready to go. So now watch, I'm gonna do the same buttons again. B1, B2. See how it's gone to that first port? and it's changing the polarity. So I'm getting the different colors here. Now I'm gonna go C1, C2. Here's C1, here's C2. So these other two ports right here, they no longer work, they're dead. These are the ports that are active and they're giving you plus 12, negative 12, plus 12, negative 12. So that's two sets of channels. That's enough to run on a snowblower. That's gonna run your motor to turn your chute left and right. And then it's gonna run the linear actuator that's gonna open and close the, um, the angle of your chute and that's from these two ports here. Now, if you're one of those people that bought a Buffalo turbine, you can choose either one of these. You're only gonna use one of the ports and you're gonna plug directly into it. So on the end of the, the, the motor wires coming off of it, there should be a two pin Deutsch. If not, there's, there's four of them in the kit when you buy this box. So you can just put them on there. I recommend just soldering if you don't have the right crimping tool. Don't try to use a regular smash type crimping tool. You have to have the square type. Uh, if you don't have it, just solder it, it's easy. Um, and you'll put that into either port, it's up to you, whether you, whether you wanna run it with your left hand, so here's my B1, B2, or I can go to the second port and I can run it off C1, C2. So it's just that simple. And again, if you need to program it back, all you're gonna do is just hold the button down here when you turn the key on and it's good as, good as, as gold, right back to uh, the way we shipped it to you. Okay, I'm just gonna switch it back to stock. So I'm gonna push the button here and go down and watch that. And it turns green and we're ready to go. So now here we go, B1, B2, C1, C2. And we're back to stock.